tal juego amigos? ¿Cómo están? Yo soy Juanma y estoy en un lugar increíble, estoy en el Palacio de los Deportes, un eventazo de Hot Wheels del que toda la información aquí va a estar abajo, pero tengo la oportunidad de platicar con tres personas increíbles que están aquí, el señor Jim y May, Johnny May, right? Johnny May, right there, then Jeremy Cox, and Lee Wei Chang, Mr. Lee Wei Chang. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people who's a fan of Hot Wheels and, and the, the, the things that you do, that you create. So, can you please let us know a little bit about how, how was the, the first time that you had, uh, you, you got in touch with, the, with cars, with, with the models and stuff? How was that process for you guys? One of my first, very first toy was a little die-cast car made by Matchbox, actually. But um, I've always been a car guy, I love cars. And you know, even till this day, I still collect a lot of Hot Wheels cars. Yeah. So you're a collector, actually. I, I'm a collector, and also a, a, I love you know cars, racing, race cars, everything about cars, and toys, all toys. Every, any kind of toy. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What about you? Um, as a kid, I mean, there was always Hot Wheels or diecast in the house, and my mom must have bought them. Or, but I've always had that love for diecast. I still actually have the original diecast that I own. A long, when I was a kid. And any other kind of toy collectible that you have? Um, I've, I've, I've tinkered here and there with action figures and stuff like that uh, over the years, but um, it's mo I think my biggest collection of is, is probably still Hot Wheels and Matchbox. That's awesome. What about you? I mean, I come from a whole background of just, you know, loving cars. My dad uh, was always modifying cars, and I think that's where my love for that came from. Uh, in terms of, you know, I still remember the, the day I got my first Hot Wheels car. It was uh, actually a Dixie Challenger. I think I was in the second grade when I lived in Texas. Uh, you know, since as a kid, I've always played with, you know, die-cast cars. Um, and now I'm all grown up, but, you know, I still love them. I play with the uh, Hot Wheels with my kids. I think that's, for me, it's my, my favorite pastime with the cars. Uh, so I don't actually collect them that much because, you know, when I bring them home, it's like they just go to my kids and they play with them. But for me, that's equally as... Honestly, it's more fun to see them just come to life in the hands of children. So I think that's for me, it's a special moment. Designing. How, how, how was that process? I have this car, but I, now I want to make a different one because this is what I like to do. How, how was that process and why to design cars and not any other kind of toy? For me, you know, uh, you know again, like, like I said before, I love cars. So, and the challenge has always been every time we design, we got to come up with something new. You know, it's not, we can't do the same, a different color, a different style, a different, you know, that's the challenge. And that's what keeps us going every day because we're not doing the same thing. Every day, it's actually a new day and we got to come up with a new design, new color, new theme to, for all the kids of all ages around the world. Awesome. And, and uh, about your process of designing, start uh, your, your beginning? Um, well, I'm a graphic designer, so we put the graphics on the car. So when, when it comes to graphics, I mean, we have to look at what's trendy, what, what kids are into these days. I mean, it's funny because nowadays, like, retro is kind of in, so you kind of kind of look at the old stuff and bring it back. And so we, we constantly are trying to figure out and stay ahead of the trends, whether it's going to car shows or it's going to SEMA or, or it's just looking at competitor product just to see what everybody else is doing. Awesome. And, and about you? Your, your process? Well, from the, on the vehicle design side, you know, the, the, the key moment for us is to have a ride in silhouette, meaning when you go to the store, there's a lot of different kinds of cars that are on shelf for, for kids of all ages. So if you think about the world and all the inspiration, all the cool things that are around you, we aim to, you know, bring that into the Hot Wheels world. So you think about like creatures, that's why you'll see like a shark car or you might see, you know, like a semi truck or a police car or a race car. These are all cars that exist in the real world. Uh, but we just kind of kick them up a notch in the Hot Wheels world. And that's something it's always a challenge for us. Uh, but it's also it's, it's the most fun is to uh, just kind of bring new ways to play for kids and new styles and new designs. Now, there's a, a, a car for this convention, specific for this convention. And one of you designed that toy. Who was it? It was you. That The, the car is, is your design? Oh, the, um, oh, the Dot, yeah, the Datsun, yeah, the Datsun 510 wagon. So it's interesting, that car is actually, uh, the, the design of the car, not the graphics, but the, the vehicle itself is based around one of my actual car projects I have at home. Um, so the, the first release of that car is actually a replica of my car. So it has the same green paint job, it's got the red wheels. 
uh, has all the little details that actually make it my car. So it's, it's a very special moment for me. It's one of my favorite cars in Hot Wheels line. Um, so yeah, it's exciting to see you know it come out in very you know different graphics and colors and see all the fans go crazy for it as well. So yeah, it's really cool. You have a lot of to uh, cars, and what's your favorite? Your own favorite? Well, for me, I love uh, I love all the all the racing race cars. So um, I say Lamborghinis are my favorites. Yeah. I have two. One's the 49 Mercury, and one's the Carbonator, so I could open my beer with it. <laughs> For me, I'm a I'm a big uh, Datsun and Porsche fan, so I definitely uh, appreciate the Datsun and Porsches that we have, and also the classic Nissan cars. Uh, I love uh, Nissan Skylines and GTRs. So, uh, but still, for me, like my favorite is the is the Datsun wagon, the 510 wagon that's also being used as the event car today at the event. So, yeah. But I mean, hey, love them all. It's hard to pick just one, right? How, how many designs do you have? Uh, already with with Hot Wheels. I mean, that are been uh, uh, an actual toy. For me, I'm I'm on a graphic design side, so um, you know I would say five six hundred probably. But uh, I thought he was about to say five or six. That's it. And I was like, six hundred. The graphics. So we do the you know we we shoot, we do the colors, the wheels, the graphics that goes on the cars. So and then you know. So that's there's the there's there's the graphic design side of the, the toy design and also the vehicle design which we design the actual cars. So there's two different different parts of it. But you know we over the years I do about I say 500. You know and this guy has more. So more than that? I probably have in the thousands probably. I've been on Hot Wheels. I've been at Mattel for 10 years, but I've been on Hot Wheels for seven. So I easily do 300 graphics a year. So you're looking at whatever three times seven is about two twenty one hundred graphics. So around there. So I don't do the graphics, but I do the, uh, the actual vehicle designs. Um, I probably have. I mean, I've been there for thirteen years. I probably have a few hundred cars. Um, you know, our team, as a team, we do one hundred and fifty brand new cars every year. And these are cars that haven't been done the year before, and these are spread out between all of our uh, our product lines. So, Hot Wheels basic cars, the collector uh, lines, licensed entertainment. But in terms of the graphics, we do around 1,200 graphics every year across the team. So, it's for for graphics. Yes, yeah. So there's uh, you know there's a lot of retailer programs. There's events such as this. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, you know uh, limited runs that we do for uh, for our fans, and yeah, it just increases uh, you know more things that you have to collect. If you're a completist, then you have to get that one. You might have to go to Mexico to get the Sicar or you know find a way to get it. But yeah, it, it you know it's kind of the uh, for our fans too. It's kind of the thrill of the hunt, right? It's like you want to you want to get that next car to complete your collection, and uh, that's what these guys do really well. So wow, oh, that's amazing, guys. Uh, one last question. How, how, how do you see Mexican fans, Hot Wheels fans? You, you've been here twice, and you too, so you may know them a little bit. I mean, honestly, I didn't think it could get bigger than it, it did when I was here two years ago, but it's you guys, have they've outdone themselves. It's just amazing how big this is, and the, I appreciate the fans because we don't have that kind of uh, fan base in America. Like, there, there's collectors, but not... It's just like a family thing, which I love. Like people take their family; it's a family organized event, and which is really cool. And, and, and it's a, it's a level of, of passionate. I think maybe we don't experience as much all the time because um, I think it's it's a little more accessible back in the U.S., right? But here, like you know, definitely when we travel internationally, we feel the passion, we feel the love from the fans, and especially to see the kids and the, and their parents so engaged into our product and brand means a lot to us and it means that we're doing our, our job and we're doing a good job at it so but we gotta keep we gotta keep going and uh, you know bring out the next big thing ok amigos pues ahí están las palabras de los diseñadores de Hot Wheels el trabajo yo creo que uno de los mejores trabajos del mundo y de lo más hermoso es hacer lo que te gusta así es que pues quédense pendientes compartan este video denle like compartanlo hagan todo lo que ustedes ya saben que tienen que hacer yo soy Juanma Bernardo está atrás de la cámara y pues nos vemos en un capítulo más de juegos juguetes y coleccionables adiós